All right, so are you ready for RoboCrafting? Hopefully you have gone through the programming a servo exercise and you'll have some exposure to how to actually program these servos and get them to move the way you want them to move. You might be asking, what is a RoboCraft? So I want to share with you an example of that. Um, a RoboCraft is just a crafty creation that has a robotic action in it. And so in this case, we call this a robot craft. Um, and in this case, I'm actually, uh, it's a random exercise suggestion generator. I might need to work on the name I give my project. And there we go. So as I plug it in, it randomly tells me what kind of exercise ideas I should do. Cool, run, maybe I should run now. Maybe stretching, I like that one. That's probably my favorite exercise. So let's actually go through what it takes to build one of these. And the reason why we like RoboCrafting so much is because, you know, allowing you to choose how to build your project makes it a little bit more engaging at least we hope so. Um, you know, in terms of why we like to RoboCraft, I think it's, it, it's a nice way to express yourself in any way that you want to. Um, you, you can use the arts to do that and, and craft whatever or however way you want to communicate your idea. And then having the robotics piece to it adds a little bit of complexity to your project and actually uh, it's, it makes it a lot more fun, I think. So, um, the first thing I want to go through is the different materials that you're going to need. You're obviously going to need your Arduino and you're going to need uh, at least one servo. I have two out here because I want a choice. I don't know which one I want to use yet. Um, and you also want the wiring. But you're also going to need crafts because this is robocrafting. So I'm sharing with you a box of crafts, um, maybe some stuffed animals that you want to, don't want to use anymore, you don't mind cutting into. Uh, popsicle sticks are really fun, pipe cleaners are really cool, shells. Um, you know, whatever you can find around the house or, um, you know, gems, googly eyes, whatever you can get your hands on, uh, get a, kind of a box full of crafts to get yourself started, okay? The next thing I want to go through is a design process that we use at Qualcomm Thinkabit Lab. So number one, define the purpose. Uh, for our RoboCraft, we want to raise awareness in exercising. So that category might be healthcare. For you, it might be um, public safety or entertainment. Maybe you're trying to come up with a new game. Uh, two, empathize. How will your project make, pe make people feel? Does it communicate your idea to them? Three, brainstorm ideas. This is where you might come up with different ideas on how to, um, how to serve that purpose. So uh, I can come up with a uh, project that randomly generates ideas. Maybe I have a project that pokes you to motivate you to exercise. I think I'm going to stick with the randomly generating ideas one though. Uh, four, design a solution. This is where you really want to probably draw it out. Um, this will help you understand what your solution may be. It also helps you communicate that solution with somebody else if you happen to be working with somebody else. So uh, the first thing I'm thinking is I'm going to need some sort of platform. Okay. Um, and I want to have my servo be in the center. At this stage, I'm also thinking about which servo will serve the purpose. So I, I'm going to think about the action. I want something to spin around. Well, which one of these two can spin? My continuous servo can spin, so I'm likely going to use that. Now, if my project was something where it was going to maybe poke people or wave a hand, I might want to use the regular servo, something that I can control the position. Okay, so I'm going to have my servo in the center. I want some sort of pointer, and I want it to stop at different ideas. So A, B, C, D. And that's kind of a very basic way, a very basic drawing of, of what my project will look like. You don't need to be an artist to draw out an idea. It's just so it helps you communicate your idea. Fifth, uh, that's the, the building part, the fun part, right? So I'm going to go ahead and get a platform. Okay, your platform could be either a cardboard cutout or maybe a foam board cutout. The next thing I'm going to do is choose the servo. So again, I'm going to use my continuous servo. I'm not going to be using my regular servo, so I can put that away. Okay, in my drawing, it looks like I have my servo in the center. 
So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the center. And I actually want my servo to be um, embedded into the platform. The way that I can do that is maybe ask an adult to help me cut out a hole for my servo. To help them, it might be nice to kind of draw out the area in which you want that hole to be cut out. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use a box cutter. So go ahead and carefully cut out that hole. Ooh, a little bit tough. Oof. Ah, okay. And then pop out the hole in the middle. Nice. Okay. And then go ahead and put the wiring through and place your servo inside. Ooh, got to squeeze it in there. Cool, it's really stable. Um, at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and plug in these wires and place them in the appropriate spots. So my black wire goes in GND, my red goes in VIN, in this case, and then the control wire goes to nine. So cool, this one spins and then stops. So I like where it's at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it and continue decorating. Because now that I know that it's going the way that I want it to, um, I, so far, I think I can continue uh, crafting. So I'm going to go ahead and use a glue gun. Be careful when you're using a glue gun. They're very hot. And I'm just going to actually hot glue my servo onto my platform. Okay. I think it's okay to hot glue onto servos. Um, also, uh, you're totally okay to uh, hot glue on your, the horn of your servo, okay, which is that thing on the top. Um, you don't want to put so much hot glue that the horn gets attached to the servo. Um, at this point, you want to probably go find something that you want to stick onto it. I need to get a pointer. I'm going to go ahead and use an orange pointer, and I also want some sort of puffy ball on the tip of that. Okay, so again, I'm going to carefully put a little bit of hot glue on top of my, the horn of the servo, but not too much where it, it actually attaches itself to the bottom. And then I'm going to carefully place my pointer, and then I'm going to go ahead and put a little puffy ball at the tip. Cool. Um, at this stage, I'm also going to go ahead and, and write out different suggestions for exercising. So one is run. I'm going to go ahead and place this all out. Uh, walk. Swim. Jump. Stretch. I think stretching and, and walking are my favorite. Okay. All right, so again, I'm just going to check, is it actually stopping at different categories? Just want to make sure that we're getting closer. Cool. Doing what I wanted to do. Nice. Okay, so I can continue decorating. And I really recommend that as you build your Robocraft, that you code, upload, check. Does it work the way you want it to? If it doesn't, go back to your code, upload, check. Does it work the way you want it to? And you might want to do this every so often as you're crafting, because what you don't want is to have so many crafts on here that you can't actually start changing your code anymore, okay? At this point, I'm okay to keep going. And so as you can see, it's, uh, you know, I have my different categories and it stops at different ones. Um, I can now replace this, because at this point you could just keep decorating. And what it ends up looking like is what I had shown you in the beginning, which is our, uh, a little bit fancier version of a robotic craft and, and um, having it spin and then stop randomly. Uh, another one is the regular servo. Remember the, the regular servo, you can control position. So in the case of this one, I wanted to have a car that automatically parks. And in this case also, um, you know, I was trying to come up with an, an invention idea for the Internet of Things category. So you might have an assignment at school that you want to create a project for. This could be a really cool way to kind of come up with an animated diorama, a little robot craft that can express that idea, right? So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and show you how I used a regular servo to kind of communicate that idea. Now imagine you were in a car and you just had to push a button and it would choose its own parking spot and park itself. How cool would that be, right? And so in this case, it is um, you know, another example, another way of using a, a different kind of servo to kind of communicate a crafty idea. Awesome. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hopefully you have enough tools and enough crafts to kind of express yourself any way that you want to. And hopefully you'll share those ideas with us.